The NFL on EA Sports brings us to the banks of the Ohio River and Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Cincinnati Bengals. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Cincinnati. This fielded right at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. to the air is Burrow. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed great hands and big bodies which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Meanwhile Burrow's throw caught by Higgins. And that's good for a gain of six and it's second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter he's going to get some catches but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on and I like what you just said. First quarter can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Throw right side into the hands of the tight end sample. So nothing doing there, and that will bring up second down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening oh, drive. Throwing again on second down. Burrow. A throw for Boyd, but it's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, just an excellent play there by the defense. Not only pick it, but take it back because Charles looked like they were in a groove passing the football, several completions until that mistake. They certainly did appear to be locked in, and with how this offense was moving along, I know we certainly didn't expect to see a pick to end the series. Whatever the cause was, maybe they tipped one of those scripted plays. Maybe the defender just made a great read. It has certainly quickly changed the tone of this one. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Gun, gun. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. The Burroughs throw taken in here by Chase. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. 
A throw for Boyd, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. 20, 10, 5, and he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. And Charles, it's now a two touchdown lead in the opening quarter. Following that pick six, they are off to a fast start in this one. And absolutely ecstatic on the sideline after that play, aren't they? Not just because they've got the lead, but how about seeing one of their guys get a chance to take it in for six? Already up a pair of touchdowns. They've got everything going their way early on. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Bengals drive about to get going. Go, 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 go. And job one here, Charles. Just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath. First, do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Doctor Davis. Give the tackle to Hassan Reddick. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you could do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Open man is Higgins, and they're able to get this one across the 35. Burrow hooking up with Higgins for a Bengal first down. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Eluding the pressure right. And now Burrow going to be intercepted yet again. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. So that changes things. You get the interception, and then to boot, a good return tacked on. And really, it was down to him versus the quarterback on the return, and that's one you would think the defender would win. But a nice job there of seeing the play all the way to the end and making the tackle by the QB. Well, this is Smith with a grab. And he's finally taken down, and it's a big game there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. Here we go, here we go! Look at my team! Quick, quick! They'll run here with Gainwell. And the big boys up front, they're gonna stop him right at the line. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Again, running left, it's Sanders. And once again, he'll get possibly back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. And they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They'll try to run with Sanders. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only able to pick up a yard, and that's going to leave him with a long fourth and goal. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, it's not the touchdown that they wanted, CD, but still, they got to be pretty happy here. You steal the ball away from them on their opening possession, and you turn that into the early 3-0 lead. Yeah, you painted the picture perfectly there, all the things that have gone on. And the important thing, other than the lead, of course, is as you described, both sides of the ball now have some momentum. On one, ready? The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? 
Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Throwing on second and long. Burrow. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. All right, partner, Deuce is wild on this sequence. Two plays, two sacks, and now two points thanks to the safety. Offensively, there just didn't seem to be much of a plan when they came out on attack. That let the defense create a little chaos up front and set up one of their guys to make a play and get through and record the sack. The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last one. And the defense loses him. It's complete. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith, 73 yards. And the Eagles are able to add on to their first half lead. Elliott on for the extra point. And that will bump the lead up to 26. Makes the score Eagles 26, Eagles 7. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going. And last time they surrendered to safety, we know they don't want to do that again. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. And it's just so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again. They've got to take care of the ball. Your boy juices up the defense. Oh, without a doubt. That's a great way to score some points. They go play action with Burrow. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Burrow on his toes that time as they get the first down. Well, that's a nice job right there. He's looking downfield, but with no one open, he takes off and tries to run for it. He gets to the sidelines and gets out of bounds with a first down. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. So from the 36 now, first and 10. 11 MC, 11 MC. Burrow will throw. Throwing the out route, finding Boyd for the completion. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Here we go, here we go. 11, mighty. 11, mighty. First down, here's Burrow. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And the Eagles are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Well, this is just crazy. He's got three interceptions, Charles, and we haven't even departed the first half of this ball game. I think if you're looking at the stats right now, you're saying, all right, who's the leading receiver? Well, can you flip it around and say that maybe he is and could be for the game the way that things are going right now? I think if it's him, he wants to be on the field at all times. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead, but these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play, unable to connect in that attempt. Now Sanders. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next.
In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. That is not going to be any help as they dump it behind the line of scrimmage. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Taylor now to return it. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 10-yard line. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And the Bengals will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. On one, ready? The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. To throw again on second down, Burrow. He will find his man Chase complete. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. And he fends him off. And that is taken in by Hurst. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. <laughs> and I feel a little bit like a traitor as a former defender because that big man did not want to go down and refused to go down. If you're a defender and you don't get the right angle on a big tight end like him, he can run right through you like you're not even there. And he did a lot of that on that play. Now Burrow on first down. Throwing for Chase on the crosser. He's got it. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Jamal Chase as the first half is winding down. And the Bengals are on the board here in the final seconds of the first half. Extra point by McPherson up and good. And that will make this a 19-point ball game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Play action. Here's Hurts. He'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Ready up. 
The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Second half will start with a run by Sanders. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Throwing his hurts. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Hurts. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And here's Taylor on the return. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. The Bengals drive about to get going. Here we go. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game, and there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Boyd. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Try and throw forward with Burrow. And he's got Hurst, his tight end. And he is going to have the Bengals first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Here's Burrow. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers go, both go. on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. To throw once more on second and 10, Burrow. And now here's another interception. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years, but here we go. Second down, back to Sanders. And he's got some space here. 
Touchdown, Philadelphia. Miles Sanders, 36 yards. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Elliott Good with a PAT, and that will bump the lead up to 26. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. Throwing on second and long, Burrow. Got a man open, it's Chase. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Burrow on play action. And my goodness, another interception. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to get this back to their own.